Starlight shines, the night is still. Shepherds watching from a hill. I close my eyes and see the night when love was born. A perfect child. Gently waits a mother bends to kiss God's face. I close my eyes and see the night when love was born.
In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Grace, mercy, and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ be with you, and also with you. Welcome to you all on this, the first Sunday of Christmas. Yes, Christmas has truly begun, and it now continues until February, so keep your trees up. Today is the Feast of St John, Apostle and Evangelist, and this usually gets forgotten by our church, and it's our feast day, so we celebrate Ascension Day instead. But not this time. We can celebrate in style with Reverend David Sims, telling us all about St John a bit later on. Yet before that, to prepare ourselves, let's ask God to help us examine ourselves so that we can ask for his forgiveness. Christ, the light of the world, has come to dispel the darkness of our hearts. In his light, let us examine ourselves and confess our sins. God our Father, you sent your Son full of grace and truth, Forgive our failure to receive him. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Jesus, our Saviour, you were born in poverty and laid in a manger. Forgive our greed and rejection of your ways. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Spirit of love, your servant Mary responded joyfully to your call. Forgive the hardness of our hearts. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May the God of all healing and forgiveness draw you to himself, that you behold the glory of his Son, the Word made flesh, and be cleansed from all your sins. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. So together, let us sing of God's glory. Light of the world, you step down into darkness, opened my eyes, let me see. That made this 
his heart adore Hope of a life spent with you So here I am to worship Here I am to bow down Here I am to say that you're my God You're all together lovely All together worthy together wonderful to me King of all days oh so highly exalted glorious in heaven above humbly you came to the earth you created all for love's sake Here I am to worship, here I am to bow down, here I am to say that you're my God, you're all together lovely, all together worthy, all together wonderful to me. So here I am to worship, here I am to bow down, here I Say that you're my God, you're all together lovely, all together worthy, all together wonderful to me, and I'll never know how much it costs to see my sin upon that cross, and I'll never sin upon that cross. So here I am to worship, here I am to bow down, here I am to say that you're my God. You're all together lovely, all together worthy, all together wonderful to so here I am to worship, here I am to bow down, here I am to say that you're my God. You're all together lovely, all together worthy, all together wonderful to Let us pray. Merciful Lord, cast your bright beams of light upon the Church, that being enlightened by the teaching of your blessed Apostle and Evangelist St. John, we may so walk in the light of your truth, that we may at last attain to the light of everlasting life. Through Jesus Christ, your incarnate Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. This reading comes from the book of Exodus, chapter 33, verses 7 to 11. The Tent Outside the Camp Now Moses used to take the tent and pitch it outside the camp, far off from the camp. He called it the tent of meeting. And everyone who sought the Lord would go out to the tent of meeting, which was outside the camp. Whenever Moses went out to the tent, all the people would rise and stand, each of them, at the entrance of their tents, and watch Moses until he had gone into the tent. When Moses entered the tent, the pillar of cloud would descend and stand at the entrance of the tent, and the Lord would speak with Moses. 
when all the people saw the pillar of cloud standing at the entrance of the tent, all the people would rise and bow down, all of them, at the entrance of their tent. Thus the Lord used to speak to Moses face to face, as one speaks to a friend. Then he would return to the camp, but his young assistant Joshua, son of Nun, would not leave the tent. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. A reading from the first epistle of John, and the first chapter. We declare to you what was from the beginning, what we have heard, what we have seen with our eyes, what we have looked at and touched with our hands concerning the word of life. This life was revealed and we have seen it and testified to it and declare to you the eternal life that was with the Father and was revealed to us. We declare to you what we have seen and heard, so that you may have fellowship with us, and truly our fellowship is with the Father and with his Son, Jesus Christ. We are writing these things so that you may share our joy and it be complete. This is the message we have heard from him and proclaim to you that God is light and in him there is no darkness at all. If we say that we have fellowship with him while we are walking in darkness, we lie and do not deliver what is true. But if we walk in the light, as he himself is the light, we have fellowship with one another. And the blood of Jesus, his son, cleanses us all from sin. If we say that we have no sin, we deceive ourselves and the truth is not in us. But if we confess our sins, he who is faithful and just will forgive us our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. If we say that we have not sinned, we make him a liar and his word is not in us. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Hear the Gospel from John chapter 21, beginning to read at verse 19. He said this to indicate the kind of death by which he would glorify God. After this, he said to him, follow me. Peter turned and saw the disciple whom Jesus loved following them. He was the one who had reclined next to Jesus at the supper and had said, Lord, who is it that is going to betray you? When Peter saw him, he said to Jesus, Lord, what about him? Jesus said to him, if it is my will that he remain until I come, what is that to you? Follow me. So the rumor spread in the community that this disciple would not die. Yet Jesus did not say to him that he would not die, but if it is my will that he remain until I come, what is that to you? This is a disciple who is testifying to these things and has written them, and we know that his testimony is true. But there are also many other things that Jesus did. If every one of them were written down, I suppose that the world itself could not contain the books that would be written. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Today we celebrate the feast of St John the Apostle, the Apostle and Evangelist, our patron saint. But who was he? Well certainly the Church of England calendar and the lectionary have no doubt that the Evangelist and the Apostle were one and the same person and that he wrote the Gospel 
and three letters which carry his name in the New Testament. And then he wrote the book of Revelation. But who was he? Where did he come from? What happened to him after Pentecost? Well, of course, John was from Galilee. John was the son of Zebedee and Salome, and the brother of James, who was also one of Jesus' first disciples. They worked as fishermen with Simon and Andrew, who were also summoned by Jesus to follow him. John and James were given the name Bonerges, sons of thunder, by Jesus, because at one time, Luke tells us, they were ready to destroy a Samaritan village because it didn't offer the hospitality they'd expected. Clearly, however, from the Gospels of Matthew, Mark and Luke, John was one of the closest of the disciples to Jesus, since he, with Peter and James, were often taken away by Jesus separately from the others. If you remember, he was present at the Transfiguration, the raising of Jairus' daughter, and he was one of the three taken away separately in the Garden of Gethsemane. Salome, of course, John's mother, was ambitious for her sons, asking Jesus that they should have the top jobs in the new kingdom. But they earned, she earned his rebuke. Strangely, of course, the Gospel of John makes no reference to the Apostle John, but does refer to the disciple Jesus loved, a phrase which is generally taken to allude to John. In this Gospel, we find the disciple that Jesus loved being at the crucifixion and being told by Jesus to look after his mother Mary and Mary being told to treat John as a son. The Gospel goes on to report that from that time the disciple took Mary into his home. Tradition suggests that after the crucifixion and Pentecost, John went to Asia Minor and settled in Ephesus, where he wrote the three letters attributed to him in the New Testament. However, if we read the Acts of the Apostles, we read that John was imprisoned with Peter and he appeared before the Sanhedrin and later he was sent to Samaria and is reported to have been at the Apostles' Council in Jerusalem, all of which suggests that he didn't just settle down immediately but continued to witness to the Gospel by travelling from place to place. Tradition again suggests that John was exiled to Patmos, where he experienced the visions which he recorded in the book of Revelation, before he was reinstated at Ephesus, where he completed his letters. However, as I said, John is not mentioned in the fourth gospel which bears his name. Added to the clear fact that this Gospel is so different from the others, it has been suggested that John didn't actually write it. Indeed, there's a class of modern scholarship which doubts whether either of the Gospels was actually written by the person they're ascribed to. But that, as they say, is another story. So where do we stand now? Well, we have a young man, a fisherman, who was attracted with his brother to Jesus, who became one of his closest disciples, was imprisoned for his faith and tried by the Sanhedrin, who settled in Ephesus following Jesus' ascension, was exiled to Patmos and then returned to Ephesus, and just may have written a gospel, three letters, and the book of Revelation. I'm told, we're told that he died naturally as an old man, not having been martyred by so many of his colleagues. Amen.
Since the day the angel came It seemed that everything had changed The only certain thing Was the child that moved within On the road that would not end Winding down to Bethlehem So far away from home Just a blanket on the floor Of a vacant cattle store But there the child was born She held him in her arms And as she laid him down to sleep She wondered, will it always be So bitter yet so sweet And did she see the In the straw by his head a thorn And did she smell mud In the air on that starry night Then the words of ancient sea Tumbled down the centuries A virgin shall conceive God with his prince of peace Man of sorrow, strangest name of Joseph There it comes again So bitter yet so sweet And did she see that In the straw by his head a fall And did she smell her in the air On that starry night And as she watched him through the years her joy was mingled with her tears and she'd feel it all again the glory and the shame and when the miracles began she wondered who is this man and where will this song Till against the darkening sky The sun she loved was lifted high And with his dying breath She heard him say Father forgive And to the criminal beside Today with me in paradise So bitter yet so
We believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, of one being with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, was incarnate from the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary, and was made man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried. On the third day he rose again in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is worshipped and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. We believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. We acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. We look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Our prayers of intercession. Glory to God in the highest and peace to his people on earth. All creation sings your praises, O Lord. As your children, heirs of your grace, we kneel in adoration before you. Bless your church as we seek to share all that we have received. News of your birth amazed the people and startled rulers. Keep us from abuses which fear can trigger. Raise up prophetic voices to challenge and inspire righteousness and peace. After eight days, your son was circumcised under the law. Bless newborn children and their parents. Give wisdom to all who inspire the young. You hold our lives, O Lord, through all the changing scenes. Be with those enduring suffering or anxiety. Give to troubled hearts the light of your presence. Father, we glorify your name for your salvation in your Son. In this hope and trust, we commend to you all who have died. With our whole being, we will rejoice in you. Amen. And so to our peace. Unto us a child is born, unto us a child is given, and his name shall be called the Prince of Peace. The peace of the Lord be always with you, and also with you. Let us offer one another a sign of peace. Oh.
here his spirit is with us lift up your hearts we lift them to the Lord let us give thanks to the Lord our God it is right to give thanks and praise and now we give you thanks because in the incarnation of the word a new light has dawned upon the world you have become one of us that we might become one with you in your glorious kingdom Therefore, with angels and archangels, and with all the company of heaven, we proclaim your great and glorious name, forever praising you and singing. The Lord is here, his spirit is with us. Lift up your hearts, we lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give thanks and praise. Father, we give you thanks and praise through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your living word, through whom you have created all things, who was sent by you in your great goodness to be our saviour. By the power of the Holy Spirit, he took flesh, as your Son, born of the Blessed Virgin, he lived on earth and went about among us. He opened wide his arms on the cross. He put an end to death by dying for us and revealed the resurrection by rising to new life. So he fulfilled your will and won for you a holy people. And now we give you thanks because in the incarnation of your word, a new light has dawned upon the world. You have become one with us that we might become one with you in your glorious kingdom. Therefore, with angels and archangels, and with all the company of heaven, we proclaim your great and glorious name, forever praising you and singing. Holy, holy, holy Lord, holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and God of might, God of power and God of might, heaven and earth are full of your glory, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest, Hosanna in the highest. 
Lord, you are holy indeed, the source of all holiness. Grant that by the power of your Holy Spirit and according to your holy will, these gifts of bread and wine may be to us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, who in the same night that he was betrayed took bread and gave you thanks. He broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take, eat. This is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, after supper, he took the cup and gave you thanks. He gave it to them, saying, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. Praise to you, Lord Jesus. Dying, you destroyed our death. Dying, you destroyed our death. Rising, you restored our life. Rising, you restored our life. Lord Jesus, come. Lord Jesus, come. Lord Jesus, come. Lord Jesus, come. Come again in glory. And so, Father, calling to mind his death on the cross, his perfect sacrifice made once for the sins of the whole world, rejoicing in his mighty resurrection and glorious ascension, and looking for his coming in glory, we celebrate this memorial of our redemption. As we offer you this, our sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving, we bring before you this bread and this cup, and we thank you for counting us worthy to stand in your presence and serve you. Send the Holy Spirit on your people and gather into one in your kingdom all who share this one bread and one cup, so that we in the company of John, Mark and all the saints may praise and glorify you forever through Jesus Christ our Lord, by whom and with whom and in whom, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honour and glory be yours, almighty Father, for ever and ever Amen. As our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Every time we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim the Lord's death until he comes. Draw near with faith. Receive the body of our Lord Jesus Christ, which he gave for you, and his blood, which he shed for you. Eat and drink in remembrance that he died for you, and feed on him in your hearts by faith with thanksgiving.
celebration. It's a very special day. Come and share our jubilation. There's a new king born today. See the shepherds hurry down to Bethlehem. Gaze in wonder at the Son of God who lay before them. Come and join the celebration. It's a very special day. There's a new king born today. Wise men journeyed, led to worship by a star. Kneeled in homage, bringing precious gifts from lands afar. So come and join the celebration. It's a very special There's a new king born today. God is with us. Round the world the message bring. He is with us. Welcome all the bells on earth are feeling. Come and join the celebration. There's a new king born today. There's a new king born today. Let us pray. Grant, O Lord, we pray, that the word made flesh proclaimed by your apostle John may, by the celebration of these holy mysteries, ever abide and live within us. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Our notices. Next Sunday our online service will be at 10am as usual and we are privileged to have Bishop Clive preaching for us. In church there will be services at St Mark's at 9am and 10am but there will be no services at St. John's. So finally, may I, on behalf of everybody else, wish you a very happy and holy week. But before our blessing, let us sing once more together. Celebration, it's a very special day. Come and share our jubilation. There's a new king born today. See the shepherds hurry down to Bethlehem. Gaze in wonder at the Son of God who lay before them. And join the celebration. It's a very special day. Come and share our jubilation. There's a new king born today. Wise men journeyed, led to worship by a star. Kneeled in homage, bringing precious gifts from lands. It's a very special day. Come and share our jubilation. There's a new king born today. God is with us. Round the world the message bring. He is with us. Welcome all the bells on earth. Celebration, it's a very special day. Come and share our jubilation. There's a new king born today. There's a new king born today. 
May God the Father keep you in all your days. May God the Son shield you in all your ways. May God the Spirit bring you healing and peace. May God the Trinity drive all darkness from you and pour upon you blessing and light. And may the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you always. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. In the name of Christ. Amen. That we might live